And I know a lot of y'all be asking in my comments and in your comments, and I be like, I want to know. What do you want to know? Is you gay? Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Darius, and probably for the first time in a while, this video is actually for the girls, um, for real. Um, and this is the start of a lot of different videos you're gonna see from me in the year 2024. Um, very interesting videos, I would say. And I know a lot of you clicked on this video. You, a lot of you who haven't seen me in quite a while, um, I know because people are probably interested in this topic. Mm -hmm. Do you think so? Mm -hmm. um, so to start this off, we're gonna have a little bit of a glass of wine. <gasps> okay. Um, he made me do it. I did make her do it. And we're gonna, just to have a little um, conversation, a little Q and A video about some things you guys wanna know about me. So, Whatever. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes, of course. Um, drink responsibly, everyone. Darius, why you look so rough <laughs> right now? Okay, see, I asked <laughs> no because I asked you if you wanted me to do a um no, no, a no. shave up. Okay, I told you to keep the beard. Yeah, I know, and I was gonna cut it off, and you said um, no, no, grow it out, grow it out. And Guys, it's looking fuller. I don't know if it's looking fuller. It's Everyone, getting fuller. All you guys need to know is that the, the reason why my my beard looks the way it does is because my mom wants me to. My parents want me to keep it, and they think it's gonna grow up and be so mad. We just we, this, this is why his dad. Yeah, I don't know if y'all knows that video. He put some black stuff on it so he can see how he'll look if he had a full beard. That's right. why. That is what happened. And that wasn't. It wasn't like to be like, oh, this is that, the style. Yeah, like I was just gonna be it like. It was an experiment, y'all. Okay, so I just want everybody to was know. like, look at his. Why his beard? That. Some people thought it was real. Some people thought it knew it was fake. My dad filled it in to see how it would look when I actually grew in. Obviously, it looked fake because it was fake. But we wanted to see how it would look if I had all this hair in. And so I don't know if I'm going to keep it yet based off of how that looks. But we'll see. I have to grow into it, I think. Um, okay, so now that we did that and we figured out our thumbnail or whatever, I hope you guys are still with us. Um, we have a lot of tea to get into today. And some of the tea is going to be... Um, um, you know, a little lukewarm, some of this. a little lukewarm tea. Mm -hmm. There's gonna be a little bit of a, a little bit more of like a, maybe if you put some tea in a crock pot and you put it on low, that's kind of like a little medium more. Okay. And then there's gonna be some tea that's gonna be piping hot. Okay. Okay. We'll see. So we're gonna like gradually um, pipe it up. Um, I'm gonna take a couple swigs of this. This is sweet red, y'all. If y'all wanna know what this is, the best red wine you could ever taste. It tastes like grape juice. It does taste like grape juice. I, li I do like the romance red a little bit, or I don't know if it's He doesn't like sweet wines, you know, he favors kind of milder, a mild, milder yeah. sweet than a regular sweet. Not super sweet and high um, alcohol content. Sweet red is good, y'all, and it's going to get you there. Now, see, now, I don't like this. Why? Because, number one, I'm doing a cameo appearance. Mm-hmm. Right? Okay. On your channel. Yeah, and what about it? First of all, every cameo appearance that I have ever went to, or, 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 or Are you um, trying to say you got paid for it? Don't try it. Because, <laughs> I No, I did not say that. Okay, what were you trying to say? What I'm gonna say, mm -hmm. they show me the questions ahead of time. The questions are not about you, ma'am. I don't care. I still wanna know the questions before ahead of time. Okay, you wanna read them? No, I don't. Okay. But I'm just letting y'all know, I don't know none of the questions because he didn't want to give them to me. It's like, it's too secretive. I don't care, it is about you. Okay, well, we're just going to get into it because I have quite a few questions to get into. Um, and just so you guys can know, my audience can know a little bit more about me. I've never done a Q&A my entire lifetime. It used to be really popular to do Q&As back when I was younger watching YouTube. Like, everyone was like, I'm doing a Q&A video. And they'd be like, what? If you had to choose between a raspberry and a strawberry, what would it be? And I would used to be going, oh my god, I want to know. Um, but now people don't care like that. So, the first question on the docket. They be moving on too quick. Is, am I going back to school to get my master's or doctor's degree in psychology? Um, and then a caveat to that. Is it caveat or caveat? I don't know. Caveat. Do I want to be a therapist or a psychologist? Um, I'm not going to name who wrote or who asked these questions because that would take me forever for each question. Um, but I don't know yet. So that's the answer to that question. I don't necessarily know yet. Um, I think that it could be a possibility. I do want to use my psychology degree. And, and I think I have been, you know, in everyday life just diagnosing my, my parents. No, you ain't uh, you ain't diagnosing, diagnosing me. my parents. And, you know. Um, do you diagnose yourself? Um, no, I don't think that's how that works. I think that because I have the learning and the, and the knowledge of psychology, like, I really just know how to act and behave in certain there situations. Is, you didn't, let me tell you something. You didn't go to school just to diagnose me. 
I actually did. No, you didn't. Um, it was a joke, mom. But anyways, the point is, well, is that I, I don't know if, what what and how it look how my continuum of education looks right now. But I do know that. I'm sorry. Are we recording on set? Cause somebody has their phone on. Who is it? Okay. Cause you want to have a job tomorrow, correct? Thank you. Let's get it together. 2024. Thank you. No more in 2024. Don't be trying to take my slogan. So I, I thought it was the hat last time. I did. <laughs> um, I thought it was the hat. The reason why my ears were ringing. But it actually is just a normal day, I assume. I, I, I mean, guessing. Y'all know I got a big mouth. Okay, let me just say okay. this. Can I say this? Yeah. But I think that your psychology degree, degree probably will come in handy if you, when you do a podcast. Right. So I was going to explain that to them. Okay, but uh, you ain't said you ain't said Yeah, 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 yeah. But See, they, that's, why, that's why it's important for me to do city questions ahead of time. Right, I know I'm over right. So I do think... Commentary on that kind of question. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I do think that I will be using my psychology degree in some way. Um, and I think it has and will be beneficial to me in the future. I don't know how it looks progressing my education in that in that avenue just yet. But everybody stay tuned. I promise. Um, you'll see more of that in the future. Um, we're going to move to the next question. Okay. Just so we can kind of do rapid fire and not spend too long on each question. Yeah. Um, what country would I like to reside in in five to ten years? And the U.S. cannot be one of those those countries and why and I think that you should answer this question as well if you had to pick a country that's not the US to move to in five to ten years now Mike I don't know the answer to this question because I, I keep it's saying in the know. US right no 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 it outside. cannot be out it has to be outside the US it cannot be the US and the reason why I don't know is because I haven't really traveled outside the US but you have so what do you think it would be for me, the only oh. place that I have ever wanted to go, and this is inside the U.S., this is Hawaii. Okay, so it, I don't know if you remember the question or how it was phrased. Um, I remember it. Really? Okay, yes. so so it actually said outside of I the can't, U.S. I can't do it. <gasps> Why not? There's, don't, don't, don't you try to put me on black because you're trying to say the girls are going to cancel you. I yeah. just can't do it right now. Okay, well... I like America. Okay. Now, I put this in here on, on purpose because we're going to... Um, quickly, I'm going to talk about mm. this. Probably the UK. Hmm. Um, I would not be in the UK. It's more modern. Ooh. I would not be in the UK. Uh, on the parts. On the seven, seven parts. More parts you know are modern than the UK. You ain't never been I, there. I, I, I've seen commercials on it. Anyways, I want to take this time to talk about Palestine on my channel. I have... quick. Don't try it. I haven't talked about this, and I think that this is a good video to talk about it because I know there's going to be a lot of viewers on this channel, or on this video, sorry, on this video, um, and I just want everyone to know if you had a question before, I am very much free Palestine. If you don't know the horrible atrocities that are happening right now in Gaza, please do some research. I don't, I don't, understand, I don't think that there's anybody who doesn't know what's going on right now, but if you do not know, please educate yourself. Um, What's going on right now, I see it all the time, and I have been seeing it for a while, months mm -hmm. at least, as, mm -hmm. as everyone else has. And there are atrocities going on. So please, please, in any way that you can, donate to um, anybody in Gaza. You should have, you should have a, I'm going to have links and everything. Okay. And I was going to get to that in one second. But um, any, credible, any, credible, any credible organizations in Gaza to help all the people. I don't want to like make this video uh, a downer video. But the sad issue is, is that while we're recording this video, bad things are happening. Mm -hmm. So whether or not I'm comfortable or not, you know, it, making that this a part of this video, it is the truth. Um, so please go and donate to any credible um, places to support Gaza. I will have that in the description box down below before we move on. So I just wanted to put that in this video. Okay. Um, so as my answer for where I would move outside of the country, I would say, um, not Canada. No, I'm not going to Canada. I don't know. I don't think I have enough experience on other different countries, on different countries. I don't, um, I would probably say somewhere, I, maybe like Tokyo, Japan. Please tell me what, what's wrong with that. You don't know that language. Okay, well, I would have to figure it out. So I would say Japan still. And you said you're- You you're, said Tokyo. Yes, Tokyo is Japan. in Japan. Okay. Yes. So- Oh, it would be Japan. It would still be Japan, okay. yes. Uh -huh. So where you said yours would be um, the UK. I said, yeah. Okay, perfect. Or South Africa. Or South Africa. I was thinking any countries in Africa, but again, I don't really know a lot about different specific countries. I don't know a lot about specific countries in Africa. Kenya. I know it wouldn't be South Africa, though. Why? Because 
South Africa got some nice places. I know it wouldn't too. be South Africa. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, I don't know where it is okay to be black. Let's talk about that quickly. I don't know where it's okay to be black in other countries. Africa? Nigeria? Right. Africa as a Kenya. continent is, is the only place where I know you can obviously be black and be fine. But I'm saying... Would you be safe? In Africa? Yeah. Uh, yeah. What do you mean by that? I don't know. Oh. Depending on where I am, you're right. Probably not. Right. Anyways, you're right. I have to think about a lot of things if I'm going to move anywhere. Um, okay. Um, somebody said, I've been had a crush on... Oh, we can't put that. What? Um, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That was one of my joke questions I put in there. <laughs> no one said that. Well, someone actually did say that, but it wasn't a question. It was a statement. Anyways, um, why don't you get nerves. back into theater and plays? Okay. Um... Well, I think that I would like to do that. I was thinking about doing that in general, but it just seems like I don't know if I'm comfortable g going back into, um, I don't know, like auditioning and like I think I would be nervous. I haven't done it in year in over a decade, right? Yeah, literally. And wow, I you, never, you actually could say that in your life? Yeah, I know. Really wow. old, right? Really, wow. really old. Wow, a decade. Like I haven't done it. In, I haven't been in the game in over a decade, but. Mm hmm. But, yeah, so I really would need to get back into the groove of things. But one thing I really would want to do before I did that was get singing lessons. I think that if I was, if I had singing lessons, like when I was younger, I did a singing lessons for, I actually did one singing lesson. Um, but if I did, had done more and like, you know, trained my voice from puberty till now, um, I think that I would have been a lot more set up to do things like Broadway and things like that. Um, but I would love to do, I love theater. I love like, perf I just think the concept of performing is actually so iconic, just in general, like in front of people. Um, and I don't think I was ever really that nervous when I was younger, but I feel like I would be more nervous now. I don't know. I feel like I've gained, um, um, more, um, anxiety than I had when I was Because younger. you're, you're older as adults. Kids don't be, think about that stuff, being well, judged and stuff. They be like, okay. I don't know. Well, some of them. Some of them They do. just got this such a uh, pure personality that they like, okay, whatever. I think I can still Until, do it though. Until, yes. What you mean? I think I could go back and, and do it. I, I just love like even going to watch. Whenever I'm watching a show, I'm always jealous of the people on stage because I want to do that. Really? Yeah. like if or, or anything, like any concerts or anything like that. I'm like, this is just so cool to do, to be able to do that for people. We're going to have people to go see that you. We're, we're going to see Tobias. And, yes. Um, the little, Mar the... What is it called? Little Shop of Horrors. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Simply um, Fooled by T.Y. You know, but his name is Tobias. He He's doing a um, Little Shop of Horrors. So if y'all want to know, if y'all want to go see that, y'all can go um, Google it because he's going to be in Washington, Washington, Washington D.C. And he's going to be playing The Plant. I have never I seen that it. that was amazing. I have never seen it, so I'm going to have to watch it before I go. Yeah, we're going to watch it before we go, but it's really, really good, Yaya. And I love musical. It has to be a musical play for mm -hmm. me. Uh, me too. I think that that play we went to was... Was that a musical? The Girl from South Dakota or whatever <laughs> she was, whatever it was called. The, the Girl, girl from, from South, South Country. It was something like that. The Country Girl, girl from South oh, Country. I could not do that. Anyways. Oh, no, they didn't need that. They were a really good cast. This was a really good cast. It was really good. Um, I just don't think that it, it was, was not for, it best. wasn't for me. It was, wasn't But Aladdin and did Mrs. Doubtfire was the bomb. Um, okay. This next question is, have you ever been upset with your mom? Well, have you? Um, I think that every child has been, um, upset with their parents in general before. Um, so of course. Yes. When have you been upset with me? Um, I don't know. A couple times in life. Nothing that I can, like, pinpoint. But I see butt heads sometimes. I think that our our button heads is very seldom. It is very seldom, yes. It's probably like probably last time I get mad was like three years ago. Um, no, it was last week. But what? no, I'm just kidding. It was I'm not like, last, week. I do last week. It was not last week. Um, but I don't know when the last when it was last time. But I don't know about three years ago. You think it was shoulder? Yeah. What did you? I didn't know. No, you probably knew. I think you knew. It was definitely when I was in Tucson. Oh. Yeah. It's okay, man. How, when have, I, have I ever... Um, no, Tucson. Have I you ever been remember. upset at me? It's because I be trying to tell him what to do. That's actually not true, I don't think. No, I be uh, telling him I, what it is. Uh, yeah, crazy things. Anyways, okay, so the next question is, do we remember the exact moment that inspired B-Love to start Mukbang slash YouTube? Do you remember that? 
the, the are not. Do you remember the exact moment when you decided that you were gonna start YouTube? That's a question for you, I guess. I didn't know I had any questions for you. Probably like the oh. exact moment where you were like, "I'm gonna do YouTube." Probably like eight years ago. Do you know the moment? Like I was sitting here one day and I was watching YouTube. I was like, I want to do that. Uh, probably when Derry said, "Oh, look at these mukbangs," and show me mukbangs. And I said, "I could do, I could do mukbangs, or I can do mukbangs and, and really? cooking videos." Okay. And he was showing me that lady. What's that lady that does that cooking? She was kind of a short lady who had her hair in a ponytail, and she would always taste her food at the end. Um, Laura in the kitchen. Yeah, I think it was Laura. Yep, it was Laura. In the I kitchen. love Laura in the kitchen. That was back in the day. Um, if y'all know Laura in the kitchen, uh, you still watch her? I actually just got back into watching her um, this her, 2023 in 2023. Oh, okay, um, but I love yeah, Laura in the I kitchen. love Laura in the kitchen. She still do it? She does still do it. Okay, she had a little um, kitchen, and I said okay, so I said I could just cook the food and then make my food. But I'm not a chef, y'all, so I just cook whatever uh, that my family like. And I said, well, let me share these meals mm -hmm. because everybody's always a young mom. I still never had that chicken dip again. And I'm about to be in a different state. Forget it. I asked her to make. She made a chicken dip for um for uh what is it a Super Bowl party or something? Yes, and yes ago. I said, Mom, this is really good. And then I said, You should make it again. It's been five years, you guys. I've never seen that chicken dip. That's because you know what? Because Darius taste buds change, and I know him. This doesn't taste the same because your taste buds didn't change. All you gotta do is watch the video and follow the recipe. The one right, you made. Right, and then why you can't do it? Because I don't, Mom. The point is, you're supposed to make it for me. Maybe I'll do it at home and try. I'm just trying some of my mom's old recipes. Yeah, that's Maybe a I'll good make it idea. A series. Yeah. And I, yeah, my mom's old recipes. And you'll see me ducking back in the camera and running. And I was, and you would always say, "Yeah, my cameraman." Yeah. And I would say, "Yeah, your son in the back of the camera." Anyways, I can't uh, believe I've been doing this for seven years straight. Yeah. So that caveats into the second question, which is, how does the family, how did the family feel at first versus how we feel now about YouTube? At first, we was like, oh, it's the honeymoon, say, hey, yeah, yeah, really? everybody loves me, woo, woo, woo. I think the Then opposite. the trolls came on the scene. I think the, op yes, that is true, but I think the opposite. I think, I thought that they were asking, when they were asking this question, um, did we think that when you first started YouTube that you were going to be successful on YouTube? Oh, no. I, when I first started, it was just a hobby, y'all. It was just a hobby. I went on there, I did my video. I said, oh, I don't care. I said, as long as I get to, uh, my goal was, oh, I get a thousand subscribers. I am cool with that and I'm good. Because I got a thousand people watching me. And it's so, I just thought about a hundred people watching me, a thousand people in a room. So right. if I get a hundred, I got my first 100, y'all, I was ecstatic. Because really? I said, I got a hundred people in a room listening to me? Oh, baby, I have arrived. Interesting. Then I got to a thousand. Then they had to 5,000. When I got to 20,000, I said, oh, okay. I still didn't think nothing of it. Still a hobby. But when I got that million, mm -hmm. I said, oh, yeah, she's there. Yeah, and then it kept growing. And it kept growing. But I think my success happened overnight. It literally happened overnight, It did, I think. When I tell you, it just said, I'm recording one day. Next day, I am at a million subscribers. The next moment, I got, I'm, I'm getting interviewed by New York Times, Access Hollywood. I'm getting celebrities calling me. I had so much, well, not calling me, contacting me. But I had so much going on. So, And then my family got involved, and they became, a, 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 you know, whatever. they. Got. I never knew this was going to do so much for our family, and it's still doing a lot for our family. He's going that same the direct, that mm -hmm. director path, that path, and then Dalvin as well. And this is what we have made our living off of the last season. Seven years. I still don't feel like I've done yeah, anything. Like I think that. But can you well, honestly, on my own, can I you honestly say that YouTube has been good to you? Oh, of course. As far as of course, that's not what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, the uh, the only way that I was able to um, survive in college or just since high school on my own, you know, having any sort of income at all is through YouTube. Right. So of course I would say that. But I meant it as like I don't feel like I've gained any any. Um, what is it? Authentic subscriber. I don't under. It's so weird because like I've always been on your videos and on your channel un, and under you. And so when I was on my channel, most of those people came from over there. So I've never have felt like I have done anything to earn a new set of viewers or a new audience or anything like that. That actually like all organically found my page and, and followed me. So basically, um, that's what I think. That's what Darius Dalvin deal with too. It's like when you are a person that are. Like they collabing with me, we do have some of the 
same most, subs mostly the same mostly the same audience. Subscribe audience so when they try and do something else they really want to do it's almost like well that audience don't want to see that because they 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 came from food right they want to see right. food 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 and he's not a food eater I'm and Dalvin even wants to change. He's like, okay, I'm over the food. Let me do something else. So that's why he's going to be creating another channel too. So him, he's going to be doing the same thing. With me, I'm sticking with the food because I am a foodie. Well said. I'm doing what I'm, I love to do. So they're not, they want to step out. They want to step, step out. Um, you'll see all the things that I do in 2024. And I hope that if you support me that you will still Now don't there. get wild. I don't want to know wild now. What? Don't you, Mom, don't, when have you ever known me to be wild? Darius, I don't know you. I know you with me. I don't know you with your friends. Okay, me and my friends See, are not wild. When, no, 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 no. Me, uh, I've heard him. He butt dialed me, y'all. Oh my goodness, I <laughs> butt dialed him one time. Or two or three, maybe a couple times. But No, you didn't. But by, he didn't even butt dial his dad, I said. And they always. He's naked, so he be like, okay, baby, hang up. He, I, I said, Darius called me, and I pick it up, and it's, I said, oh, da Nate, don't hang up, don't hang up. Yeah, because you're trying to listen to what I'm doing. And they be like, baby, hang up on that boy. You ain't got to listen to what that boy say. I said, yes, I do. Yeah, my parents are complete opposites. My dad wants me to, you know, live my life and be an adult, and my mom goes, uh-uh, I need to hear what he doing. A, a, a parent always want to know what their child is doing because they not their real stuff in front of you. They their true stuff in front and of their I'm, friends. And, Believe that. And I was, my, I was Darius when you heard me on the phone. Uh-uh. You said a couple of slipping words. Slipping words? You know what them words is. I don't know what words you're talking about. And then I didn't even know. And he know. can't even cuss right. It's like, it's so just lame. N anyways, <laughs> I don't want to get into that. And then, and then y'all, but he was responsible because he was trying to tell him about the room. They was in Vegas. Mm -hmm. And Darius was trying to explain it out the room and said, listen, you guys don't have to settle down. This is what's going to happen. You guys got to do it. And I said, oh, then I knew that Darius is a leader. Okay, they follow him. They listen to him. He always the organizer. He always let the people know, we are going to get through this. Let's do it. And then I was like, well, where Darius at? Darius will take care of this. Darius saved the day. Woo! Why did they say that? I'm saying that's that's the mentality. I think that's oh. the thing that they have about you. Well, they always gotta tell Darius. Let's tell Darius about it. Oh, let's tell Darius the real tea because we all finna have a meeting and Darius is going to orchestrate it. Um, sometimes that does happen, but not all the time, I would say. And it is it is you know stressful and nerve wracking when you have to be that person for everyone. Darius get on my nerves. No, I'm just kidding. He's thinking like he's thinking like oh yeah they're gonna call me because he's like mom I can't talk right now I'm oh, on, I'm on a phone phone call because yes some serious things do is go going down. down. I, they do sometimes I do get phone calls when I'm not there to you know kind of figure out the what, situation what the and situation help it. is and what it should be like or whatever. Um, and yeah, and I am grateful to be able to have that position in, for, for my friends and have them confide in me about things. Um, okay, next question is, how am I coping with the big move? Um, am I having any anxiety and stress? Um, and I would say a lot. Uh, mm -hmm. Some would say a lot, actually. And the reason why is because... Um, um, these next series of videos you're about to see on my page as well as um, I have no idea what the future of this channel looks like right and that all depends on you guys and the viewers at home and what you want to see but um, like we talked about a little bit before I really want to change my path from that you know like not that I was doing so much so many food videos before but I want to up the quality of my videos um, from the editing to the video I mean to the camera equipment and things like that but also the content the different types of content and I've been talking about this for a long time but it actually is happening now and this is one of the videos you're seeing that is actually the start of this this new 2024 um, Darius channel so the next video they're gonna see is gonna be this is going to be the 2024 Darius no more you gonna get another Joe okay I actually didn't think of that slogan um, it's a very interesting one, but... But, and it will be, so the next video they will see is going to be a whole, whole different type of style. See, Darius, let me tell you one thing about Darius. Darius is very talented when it comes down to editing. He has some cold editing skills, but he doesn't do it because he's lazy. So, and then, then the fact that... <laughs> okay, so... Alright, are you having the first half? Okay, continue, continue. And so, with that laziness, I told him, Darius, get out that laziness, but I think it's going to... This is going to help him. Moving out on your own, it makes you realize, listen, this, make this, break. Is, this is it. Yeah, this is it. This is all. This is it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. There's no more going back home. He's, 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 he's
So continue. Yo, you gotta understand. If my children was in a bind, of course, if they were homeless, I'm going to take take them in. And they said, Mom, I need what a place to stay for a little bit because I know one thing I do know about my boys or our boys is that they're not going to live off of me and try to say, well, I'm gonna live off of you for the rest of my life. I just done, didn't raise boys like that. Mm -hmm. We raised them to be responsible. Is that like a common thing? Cause I feel like you, it was brought up every single se second. No, 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 no. W reason why I said that because sometimes it's a lot of people. I actually, believe it or not, there's a lot of people that reach out to us about how did we raise you guys to be able to be independent and go out to go to get your own. I'm so serious. Really? Like how do you, they, they ask us, how do we become instant net, um, um, empty nesters? Mm -hmm. How did you get them out? Because I still have all my kids at home. In the basement, in a room, they, and, and they like in their 30s, you know, so that happens. Huh. But nowadays that we're living in, people have to do that because of the finances, you know yes. what I'm saying? And I, I understand well, that. Well, listen, I think that the, the like, e economy and, like, what am I trying to say? Like, living on your own is not what it used to be back right. in, in, like, decade, like, when you were growing up and also before you were mm. growing up. Like, you could be out on your own and be able to afford things on on a, even a minimum wage job. Minimum wage does nothing. It does now. nothing. Absolutely not a single nothing. thing. Like nothing. you, it's really hard today to be live on your own and be making anything like any minimum wage job or anything like that. Or try to like even like after people come out of school and they're in debt and all this other stuff and they can't afford to be able to let alone let alone have a family. So that's so it, why I it said. definitely is. Um, it's coming. It's becoming more common, but and I don't have no problem with that because if you are a person that ain't gonna talk back, you all on one core, everybody on one core, everybody get along. That's okay. Mm -hmm. That's fine. But I would like y'all for real on the real tip. I would not have a, be opposed to my children come back home, but they need it. They say, okay, mom, I can't do this. It's I'm really going through something right now. Of course they gonna come back home. But I just be saying that for y'all to get a kick and giggles. Mm -hmm. But um, don't come back home though. Oh, okay. Anyways, um, let me see what this next thing is. Um, will I, will I ever model? Um, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Somebody did ask that. And no, I, I don't think I would ever model. I don't think I could do it. I'm just not, I do know that in, in any, oh, are you ready for another glass? I was here, come on. Oh, okay. Well. In any situation, what? I was asking you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Um, but I just thought I would do that without interrupting. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Okay. Um, but yeah, so I, I think that I would probably not model. Um, I don't think that's my forte. I used to model when I was younger. Um, and I don't think I was very good at it. I don't know if I'm very good at being on camera. I mean, being like having pictures oh, taken of me. Especially when I see people like you know, at photo shoots or whatever, and there's a whole team behind the camera, like, looking at you, there's hair and makeup, there's people, like, doing, yeah. like, it's kind of awkward. Know, trying to figure, it's definitely very awkward, and I'm the type of person to be like, oh, that awkwardness, would, I, you could definitely be able to read it on my face I, in the pictures. Yes. Go so, ahead. I don't think that I would be able to do that, um, but I do know that when it comes to being anything in social media, you're going, if, if I ever was able to make it to the point where I was, um, um, getting contact like you were getting contacted by any sort of magazines or publications or whatever like that You're gonna have to be able to be you know looking good and your best on camera on do, ha Having pictures and photo shoots and stuff like that um, Otherwise, they're gonna be like oh you look a hot mess in that or whatever So I need to be able to be able to do that and that's why um, I said when you when you're um when you're establishing a brand and this is what Darius is going to do eventually establish his own brand by himself getting it you know cuz you have to look apart. Like, mm -hmm. I don't care how I look now. Like, I mean, I care, but I'm saying I can come on a camera because I've already established myself. Wow. I've already been there. I've been doing this for seven years. In the beginning, y'all didn't see I had I had my wigs done. I had my nails done. I had my hair. I had the nice clothes on. It didn't matter because I knew that people were looking at me. You know, I was getting these brand deals. I was getting people on social media, like magazines, photo shoots, uh, interviews, newscasts. It's like so much stuff was going on in the background that y'all didn't even have haven't even have a clue and I did all of it and he, like he said when you're in front of that camera and all these people looking at you they're like yes go that, do, do, do this pose do that pose and right. then you start posing like oh my goodness they're like yes honey get it get it go I'm gonna be like oh it's so and embarrassing it's do, so uncomfortable like... and you just be like I don't know what to do y'all tell me you know what I'm saying right. but you got a whole he said camera crew you got the makeup the hair people doing your hair right. and trying to get your hair in place 
it yeah, is awkward. It is and lot. if you don't know about it, you just gonna have to go through that stage. So I definitely would have to figure out how that would look for me and like figure out how to get over that kind of, ugh, you know, lights, camera, action kind of thing. Especially you guys know that I don't do anything with anybody else typically like when it comes to collabs or anything like that. Just being around people that I'm not comfortable with. But I'm gonna have to get over that and I think it will happen eventually. So we'll see about the modeling. Will I ever continue? You have no choice. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Um, Will I ever continue music? Now that is something that I for sure want to do, um, but not in the way that I have done it in the past. I think that um, I don't. I don't think I ever want want really wanted to be like an artist as far as like selling out any kind of anything at all, um, or like making music in that way. But I think that I um, really enjoy writing. Sometimes I will see, uh, or sometimes. I will make music. Actually, I've been making music since maybe like 15 or 16 years old, like writing songs. I have hundreds and hundreds, maybe thousands of songs in my phone right now already. I just, that's, in my free time, I, I write music. Um, and I find different beats and different things like that. And um, there are a couple times I'm like, wow, this kind of ate down. But not some, it's not necessarily something that I want to go to the, Yes. Go ahead, go ahead. It's not something necessarily I want to go to the studio and record myself, but I I have like different artist names mm -hmm. in my in my um in my voice notes like okay this would be a good song for this person or that person or whatever. But I think that in the past and right now, um the pathway to be a songwriter is not the the path is covered by rubble and um and trees because like no one ever talks about how you become a songwriter. Like everyone know you know you like just become a um, an artist by just going and make music and release it on sound or SoundCloud or on TikTok or whatever. But no one talks about the path of how you become a songwriter. So I really want to be able to um do that and then once I figure it out. In, in the future, I would love to be able to make that known for people who are in my position who want to be songwriters um, in the future. But again, I'm on ground zero right now. All I have is the songs on my phone. I don't know how to do any of this yet. But I think that if I were to continue music, that that's how I want to do I kind of want to be behind the scenes writing for other artists. I think that I've always said that that's your strongest, strongest thing. Thank you. Writing. Writing, he can really write some music and the bars and stuff like that. And I feel that people that do music, they usually study the dictionary. Mm -hmm. They study um, the encyclopedia. They study different things like that in order to put the words together and be able to get those bars and mm -hmm. different things like that. But I think that he's really good at songwriting. That's my opinion and I'm sticking to it. That's what I feel. And I feel that um, it's all about, I guess you gotta be able to reach out to these songwriters and let them know, listen, right. you would That's, be good for this right. song, you know, and you gotta be in a studio for that. Yeah. So that's how it would look if I continued music. Not that I would never release a song that where I'm singing ever again, um, but I think that I would. Um, You're older now. You know your voice has changed. Yeah, my voice has changed, and again, I would want I would want singing lessons if I did anything again. But I do I do like the music that I've created. But I think that again, I have so many songs that are just not for me. Like they just weren't I, when I was thinking about writing them or whatever. They weren't for my voice or me, but for other artists. Um, so yeah, that's how these would look. So like Beyonce, if, if you hear by the time I become a established, Beyonce you. will be retired um, by the time I get into the game. Beyonce gonna be dying at Ross. Um, right. Anyways, okay, so why don't we do things in Cincinnati? Who don't do that? What, what, what? Like, why don't we go down to Cincinnati and do stuff with the girls? Speak for yourself. Okay, so then that's my point. Why don't you ever, why don't we ever, when I'm here, maybe it's because, no, that's not the truth. Why don't we ever do things since we be got Finley? Who is we? Well, I mean all of us. Like we we go to Finley Market. First of all, there's not a lot to do in Cincinnati. Okay. I'm tell you the truth. But the things that you can do, we go to me and my husband, we don't go with him. See, that's my thing was why not with me? Darius, because you're boring. I'm the most fun of the family. So please. <laughs> Anyways, me and my husband, we on the same, we on the same level. Now we we like to see we like we like to go like the concerts we like to go to a lot yeah, of yeah um, like oldies go, type of stuff yeah but, you know, and that's yeah. up my speed you not fifty you 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 uh you know <sighs> you are almost fifty this is my last year mm. in the forties wait 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 so you're gonna be forty nine in April yeah okay this is my last year in the forties I gotta celebrate that forties are gone wow you will be fifty you look very good for fifty. <laughs> It's the sweet red. Come on, keep no. on drinking that. Don't try it. Anyways, I give compliments all the time. So you think I look good for 50? 
Yes, of course. I think that I think that when it comes to black not cracking, there I don't don't try it because some black does crack. Have you seen black that cracked before? Because <laughs> I've seen it a couple of times. I've seen black crack a few times. Right. Okay. Um, I don't think that we we. I, I thought think that, that everybody parent everybody parent that's 50, 50 is the new thirty. Not for everybody. Don't try it. I know. Um, there are some people. I haven't seen no there 50. Are some people. Who I haven't look, seen black folks that look fifty that don't look. 50. No, I do think across the board that black people, of course, that the. the um, black doesn't crack is definitely a true statement. It's a very true statement. Um, but I think that we, or I, I can't say we because I'm not older yet, but I think that you and dad look very good for your age. Like dad does not look like in his, in his mid forties or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I think that, um, I'm hoping that when I get your guys' age that I'm able to not age gracefully. Age, gra age gracefully. Yeah. Um, you will. But yeah. So, um, I think that our, in our genes and our genetics, we have certain thing qualities like, um, I think we have good skin, mm -hmm. um, which I'm very, very thankful for, the mm -hmm. fact that we have good skin. And, yeah, we're very short, so I don't like that part. But um, no. I really do wish I was, like, 5'10", maybe 5'11", but um, I'm 5'3", if you guys didn't know. Very, very short. Our family's very short. People always say, I didn't know you guys were that short. We're, we're tiny, actually. Um, but small. I don't think we're tiny, y'all. He's doing we're, too much. Mom, you're 4'11". So what? That's not tiny. That is literally That's so tiny. short. That's average. Listen, Mom, listen. I haven't met anybody for anything besides you in my life so you trying to call me a little person no no don't no i didn't say that please so there is you think because i always i always ask Darius, should i go get tested for be a little person no you shouldn't mom you shouldn't that girl okay uh, that... you always talk about that girl if you know little people in atlanta that she's always talking about that girl who's like i thought i could be on there and he's always like no you can't i said well that girl was like four, you know, nine four ten i always thought that you had to have a chondroplasia to be able to be on that show and a chondroplasia is the actual genetic uh i mean is the scientific word for um being a little person but i don't i think a chondroplasia is just one of the the, the uh, variants of being a little person and there's other ones but there you look down at your mama why you you five three and you can still look like that not Mom, like stop. I don't look down at you. I just when you have your platforms on. Bit. Don't talk about what I be wearing. <laughs> <laughs> don't talk about what I wear. Um. Anyways, <laughs> yes. Okay, but when you have them on too, I have to look up. So then, what about it? No, you don't. What you mean? I don't have. Well, what you mean when I have when my you have heels, heels on, on? Yeah. You look up. Sometimes, yeah. That's a lie. Not up. But That's like, a lie. Maybe eye level. You know. Maybe I'm not that mom. But dad is what five four. You guys really. He's just, five five. You guys, you guys really were just like we're not gonna have no tall kids. We don't care. Listen about that. to me. I feel that the short short people have an advantage because you can date all sizes. When you are five, when you a woman or whatever, and you a person that's uh five six feet, they say all the time they don't. They, the choices are limited. Mm, I think the opposite. I think when you're short, people are like, oh, I don't want to date no child height. Yeah, some women like tall men, but I'm saying I have no preference. I, I'm all about I'm all about a man respecting me and treating me, you know. Treat me with respect. Anyways, um, so yes, we don't I don't have we don't have a lot in the height. Do you have preference? Um no, I don't, actually. So it can be tall, small. Yeah, I don't care. Big, um, little. Actually, smaller people are um genetically proven to be more successful. Yes, see, that's true. I don't think that's true. I, I don't know. No, I no. heard it from you. I swear I heard that from you. that's true, y'all. <laughs> Look it up. They said that the small small people it's like they overcompensate for a lot of things in their the way they do things because of their height. Really? They try to make people accept them, so they're very very competitive. They're very successful. I promise you. Well, I would have to do some Go research look on it that. up. Like Prince. How tall was he? Four eleven. <gasps> Really? 4'11 is kind of crazy. Kevin Hart. How old is five, five. Mom, are you making up these heights? Oh, no! I'm not! <laughs> you know these heights? I know these heights. Because okay. you know what? It makes me feel impressive. Like, I'm 4'11, baby. Come on now. I'm successful. Really? That's interesting. Well, um, Come don't, on now, uh, baby. a 5'3 um, is going to be a new me. And in 2024, you're going to see some more. Okay! So, so the, the short people um, have a new person added onto the successful list. You'll see. Oh, really? You'll see. Okay, so we're gonna have anybody behind that name. What? Become a millionaire like your mama. We're gonna follow see. my footsteps. Don't worry about it. No, you told me you was gonna be it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> don't. Okay, don't try it yet. I'm, I'm just trying. Okay. I'm ready for him to take care of me. Okay. Well, one day I'm, maybe. Listen, when Darius become a millionaire, baby, everything is off. Y'all ain't see no more videos from me. Cause I'm gonna take care. I'm gonna be sitting back. There's where my paycheck at every month. 
What? Just like I take care of I my mama. Okay. I pay my mama bills. We pay my we we take care care of our parents, me and Nate. So we expect our our kids to take care of us. So we won't have to do nothing. But see, I don't know what me and Dalvin can do for you guys because you guys already got it. So you might as well just take care. No, of no, 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 no. Yeah, when you gonna be a multi millionaire, it doesn't matter. Okay, well we'll see. You gonna be able to house my 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 lifestyle. You gonna be able to do my yeah. Lifestyle. See, no, no, no. If if um if I end up taking care of y'all, y'all gonna have to knock that down a little bit, a couple notches. <laughs> Y'all going down to it. Y'all gonna be in a duplex, you know. Y'all gonna be down a couple of notches. No, uh, uh, no duplex. This is yeah. Because this house, by the time you really become a millionaire, this house will be paid off. Okay, well. So, therefore, I need you I need you to fund my lifestyle as far as going traveling, going to the concert, See, going down, to, uh, you know, catching wait, a trip, let me catching just, a plane trip. Let me take this one finger off. <laughs> plane trip, clothes, shopping sprees. I need all that. Um, I don't know. We'll see. No, y'all, I'm, I'm not gonna stop YouTube no time soon. Um, I'll be old and crappy. Like, hey, y'all, I'm doing a mukbang. I'm doing some broccoli. Broccoli? Broccoli. And that's when Cat, that's what, um, what's her name said she, she make for her kids. When Cat Williams said, what you make? And she said, I do a mean Why broccoli. Why did she do that? She, she set herself up for that one. She said, I do a mean broccoli. They love my broccoli and cheese. <laughs> They love my broccoli and cheese. I can't believe she said that, but that's, he was mean, though. That he, I don't know why he did that to He her. was mean. And Destiny said that she deserved that. How? I said she did. Oh wait, no, no, no. They said she deserved. He said that she set him up, though. That's why he. Well, happy. no, no, that's no. That's why he told off. He said. He said. She said. He said that he talked to her before the. That's why I said oh. you need a cameo appearance. He said, "Well, what? What are the questions you're gonna ask me beforehand, so I won't be caught off guard?" She said, "Oh, we're gonna tell you. We're gonna ask you this, ask you that. We're not gonna ask you nothing about this. We're gonna ask you nothing about that. This is what you're gonna do because they always tell you that before you get an interview, so you right, don't get embarrassed. Right. But she changed the whole script when she got on there. Okay, so I didn't and hear that's that part of the story. I didn't know. Right. That. If you ever watched the two oh, hour oh, oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, so he talked about that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So that's why she was like, uh, he said, oh, well, I'm finna, he said, I see where you going, but I'm finna get you. Interesting. And that's what happened. So I'm just oh, like. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. This is Anyways. why I said you got to stick to what you're saying because sometimes these people be trying to set you up. If you don't know, Cat Williams was on a radio show. I don't know which radio show it was. Okay, why didn't I It was a podcast. No, no, oh, no, 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 not that. I was talking about the original. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They know about Breakfast Club. Yeah. No, it wasn't no, it wasn't Breakfast, Breakfast Club. Club. No, it, it wasn't. Was some, well, her name's Wendy, right? Wanda. Wanda. It is Wanda. Anyways, um, and... Wanda. Y'all remember that. It went viral a couple years ago. It wasn't Wanda Sykes. No. It was not Wanda Sykes. Put that wine down. <laughs> Anyways, um, um, so if y'all know from a couple <laughs> years ago... Her name was Wanda Smith. I don't know what her name is. They said she's a, a big comedian. She was with the girls. No, she you said, the girl that day. You said she Oh, no, no. And then he said that they set the him up. Did you know that he, she got mad at him, so mad at him, that she went to one of his, uh, his, his, his comedian things. Her husband was with her, with, with, with her. Apparently her husband went and chased Cat Williams and he, he, he followed him to the store and pulled the gun out on him. <gasps> that's crazy. Uh-uh. That's what he said. Really? Well, I knew her husband was mad. Yeah, he was mad, mad. Well, he did a lot, and I, but yeah, I didn't know about the whole. The but I bet she embarrassed her. He, yeah, she was embarrassed. And I, my thing is, if you be embarrassed, this too shall pass. Don't say that to me while I'm embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think he did this a lot. Is, still. I mean, well, my thing is, people do do that, and they, but she was she was over it for a while. I wonder if she still. Oh, she lost her job too. <gasps> After her husband did that, she got fired. Oh no, that's sad. I feel bad for her. Do you really? I do. You said she, did, she, did you just say you she deserved it? Oh, I no, didn't say dad she deserved it. That. Yeah, Dad did. He said that she deserved like what she got. But he was basing that off of not the information from the podcast that that Kyle Williams said. He was basing that off of the fact that she she asked him a question and it interrupted him. She was like. Uh, what do you make for your kids? And then he was like talking about it and then he was like kind of beating around the bush And then she was like, well, what kind of food do you make? And then Cat Williams got mad that she like cut him off or whatever And my dad was like, yeah, she shouldn't have cut him off. She deserved it. She, she got after I said, no, she didn't He ate her up And she did not she didn't do nothing but um, ask him a question Talk about something you can buy everything she got on at the 7-Eleven Yes, and that's rude And he said his hair is 19 inches I wonder why he does have his hair like that. That's a very interesting, like... He said, my hair move, yours don't. Dude, it's a very interesting... I said, wow. Yeah. Um, okay. You don't want to get him Cat Williams. Go ahead. Um, How many more questions you got? A couple more. Probably, I think it's four or five. 
Um, so I didn't went to do two guys. Yeah, I see. Darren, you ain't drinking that. You sipping a sipper. A sipper. Okay. Um, <laughs> I I don't know what's going on, but um, I'm I'm babysitting over here. Um, and you let your kids go. Darren, don't talk about my I'm babysitting, kids. and you got someone else watching your kids. <laughs> Anyways, um, okay. So where do I see myself in five to ten years? Um, booked, um, busy, um, booked and then busy, um, M. successful, um, multiple M's. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. Um, uh, no, we ain't kidding. We speaking that in Florida. Well, yes, yes. I need to get, I need to get paid. I don't know how it always ends up back to your square. Um, but I do, I do hopefully see myself, again, the reason why I'm like this is because I'm very uncertain and I want to stay, um, humble. Yes, I want to stay in a humble position, you know, where I don't know what, what could happen if people would ever be interested in me in five to ten years if anybody's going to care about what I'm doing ever. Um, you guys, let me tomorrow. tell you something. I always tell Darius, when you get your platform, just remember products. Do something with your money that you're making. Right. Don't ever just spend don't it. Don't ever just spend it. You got to put it up away for products and be able to put something out there. Create your own business. That's a period. That's my plan. Um, so in the in the, in the next five to ten years, um, I do do well. How well, how old will I be? Five to ten years. I'll be what thirty three in ten years. Um, or which is very interesting. I'll be thirty three. You getting old. I am kind of well. Okay, first of all, that's in ten years. That's another decade. Uh, and, and you gonna see how my fast that decade go. Um, I'm trying to figure out what what milestones in life I want to have. I do at that point want to be successful career wise, but I don't know how how I will look in my personal family life in in ten years. Um, which I I'll still be young. That's crazy. Another ten years, I'll still be thirty three only. That's not young. Well, it's pretty young. You didn't tell me it was young when I was thirty three. Mom, you were 33 when? 20 when? Years ago? 20. No, 20 something years ago. Yeah, no, no, 15 years ago, right? That's the math. That math is right. 10 years ago, you were. Okay, so when I was 39. 33, you thought I was so yeah, old. 15, 16 years ago. You thought I was so um, old. Um, yeah, no, I didn't. How old was I when you were 33, mom? I was not talking about your age like that. Well, yeah, because when you were young, I was probably like 12 or something. I don't even know. That, I don't like doing math on the camera. I don't even know what, if that math was. I had you at 26, 27. Right. So what? I was five? <laughs> Maybe I was seven. You were probably seven. Okay, so no, I didn't. I wasn't ever saying, Mom, you owe. Yes, you did. You said, my parents, when I get old, like my parents, I want to be, be this. Well, of course, when you're seven years old. But you're not old. old. I wasn't old. Okay, well, I didn't think, Mom, anybody... So, at 33, you think that's still young? Anybody at five years old thinks I'm old. 45, do you think that's still young? Um, what do you mean by 40? What do you mean? 45, 45! I mean, like, what do you mean by old? Is that old? Like, what... Is that still young? I feel like old looks different to me now than it used to. Like, old, like, I'm... I'm, I'm sure it does. I don't know. It looked different to me, too. I don't know, we'll see. I will definitely be older, but I don't know. Oh, oh, so you trying to... Okay, well, I didn't know what's going on. Ooh. You no, you moved it. Oh, no, 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 no. I think okay. you didn't see that. Oh. Anyways, last couple questions, guys. Um, if you have children, how many and what will the names be? Um, I think I want to have Giovanna. two children. That's Dalvin. Mm -hmm. Um, and I do not want to have a child named Giovanni. <laughs> um, um Oh, I know what you'll say. One I, Dariana. I was not gonna say Dariana, I don't like that name. Um, people call me that in the comments. Dariana? When, when they're trying to be cute and funny. Yes. And why would they call you Dariana? You don't like a Dariana. I don't know why they would call me Dariana. Mom, of course they're trying to. Oh my yes. God. I got a question for you too. Just keep okay. on reading. Anyways. I really um, do got a question for him because I, 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 I need a question. I need, I need some answers. Um, if I had children, it would be two. I think I want a boy and a girl. Um, and I think, I don't know the names yet. Um, a boy, you you want two kids? Yes, two. Yeah, probably just two. I don't think I want three or any more than that. Just two. Um, a boy and a girl. A boy and a girl. Would you have one set of twins? No. Why? I can't do twins. It's too much. Um, because, I don't keep my twins. What'd you say? I keep my twins. I'm sorry. You said you keep your twins. I'll keep. I'll keep my twins. Okay. Why are my kids? Yo, all of a sudden your kids. Every kid that y'all have is gonna be mine. I'm a kid connoisseur. 
I'm gonna be a kid connoisseur. There is no, you don't like a baby to handle them like me. How do you know? Because I'm gonna spank their little booties. Uh, and my children will not be near you if you're spanking anybody. <laughs> my kids will not be spanked. My kids are gonna be. Your good. kids gonna talk back. They gonna be doing. You let them get away back. with everything. You let them get away with everything. I know you are. And and when they come to grandma house, it's gonna be a whole other ball game. Um, but they gonna love granny. Okay. Well, we'll see. But anyways, I want to have my my children within um, a good amount of years of each other. I think. Don't be forty and fifty when you have your kids. No, no, no. Then so you gonna have them in your thirties? I don't know, mom. Please. Man, you trying to give me a date? Um. Trying to always give me a dick. I ain't no grandma yet. Everybody, everybody a grandma. Okay, well you better believe Dalvin. Dalvin pushing forty five. That that was saying you gonna have to have kids the next three years. Really? Three to five. Well, good for him. Anyways, I didn't know that. Um, I'm gonna have. He said he's gonna get married the next. I said okay. I, I'm I'm mm -mm. let me say something. Do not have children unless you are mentally capable, if you are financially capable, if you are physically capable. Do not have any children unless you hit those markers so- And you're married. Right. You wouldn't say the married part. Okay. No, please. Let me continue. Um, the point Are is, you going to be married when you have kids? Yes. Okay. Get well, your, my, get your other question. Okay, my point is is that I be be capable and I want to wait till those markers hit and I don't know when those are gonna happen, but then I will think about children. I don't ever want to be in a position where I'm not capable of those things. Um, and that's how you have families that don't end up working out or kids grow up in bad settings or whatever the case may be because you did not figure out those things before you decided to have children. That's my that's my um opinion on that. So mm -hmm. I don't know, I don't know the names yet. Um um, I'm thinking like Taekwon for a boy, like a Ty Taekwon. What don't Taekwon do? I was joking. Oh, uh, so you ain't don't saying my baby it. no Taekwon. I don't know what my names are gonna be yet, but anyways, what are my plans for Chicago? Eating down. That's it. Um, that's it. Eating down. Um, I don't know how that looks yet. Again, like I, I've talked about before, but um, just know that there will no be there will not be any eating up. It will all be eating down um, in 2024. So just just stay tuned for that. Um, and the the way that my life looks in Chicago will depend on how much you guys enjoy the content and um, what you want to see from me, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so yeah. Can I just say this? Yeah. That. Um Oh, I forgot. That quick. He said eating down, didn't he? I did say eating down. You want to put down? Oh, line? oh, what I was gonna say is that when you're eating down, just make sure you make sure you consistent with this eating down. Like Darius ain't got no responsibilities, no right. job, no, no nothing going on. His how his his life is completely boring. So right now he has all the time in the world. Oh, okay. This is my form of encouragement. Anyways, he so has all the time I have a lot of time world, to spend on and the world eating spends, down. Spends time on eating down, and I know he's gonna do it because he ain't got no choice. Okay, thank you, thanks, mom. Thank you. You twenty twenty four, he gonna show us some more and what he can really do in that twenty twenty four, that twelve months. Um, I want to see your pace hooks. All right, we're at the last. Tucks. We're at the last couple questions. Okay. What did my mom do about breaking the wall thing? Because I remember I made that TikTok about the thing falling off the wall. My mom literally said, Why did you break that? She said, Why did you play that song? You shouldn't have been playing that song at first, but you knew it was going to break off if you made all that stuff and you played play that big bass. You should have turned it down. You ain't got no business playing that music that loud. And I said, I said, Mom, I didn't even know that was going to happen. I literally played one song and it came off the wall and that's not my fault. And then, and then Dad came down and had his, uh, his head screwed on right. And he was like, You know what? I don't think it was you, Darius. I think it was how it was put into the wall. And I said, thank you, Dad. And then we replaced it. That's this what happened. Why, this is why he don't like to call me. Cause I he don't knows call him, I'm, I'm gonna go happens. crazy. And he, did you get mad at me then? Was you mad at me then? No, cause I knew you were gonna do that. So they expect it. You got over it real quick. And so, so I should have told your dad first. Yeah, you should tell your dad first. Don't tell me stuff like that. So my husband just replaced it with a brand new one. That's what he did. Um, if you don't know, there was some uh, one of our decor things broke. Um, mm -hmm. And if you don't know, it's because you don't follow me on TikTok, and you should. At um, Darius Castle. No, what you should do is be smart about it and get my reaction. Um, yes, but I didn't. I didn't think about and, that. And, and just put the phone up because I would have. I would have. I, yeah, I would have saw the true reaction. Um, I'm like, boy, why you check my? Reaction? I said, why you play that song anyway? You ain't gonna have it all blasted out into oblivion. 
Yes, yeah, so that is what she did. Um, and it was a lot. And he walked away and said, okay, mama, you're doing too much. And then he goes to his daddy. Um, anyway, so the final question. They is, ignore me in this house. And that's the problem. I don't ignore you. No, no, no. I mean, ignore my, my upsetness. Yeah, well, we, I have to, mom. Because otherwise I would be going crazy. Do you think I'd be upset to the point where I'm just belligerent? But, but what's what I call it? Yeah, belligerent's the right, correct am, am I, do it be? Um, no. Do I be like, <laughs> do I be like, because they ignore me. I, I fuss like I fuss on camera, but yes, they don't, they don't I care. think it's fussing. I don't think that it's belligerent, per Is se. it, uh, and, not, and it's not no cussing and no screaming and yelling and, oh, it is, it's, yeah, it's loud. Like I, It's loud, mind. it's loud. It's pretty loud. But, um. But am I over it? You get over it but quickly, yes. At that second, it's over. And we back to normal. Right. And me and Dad go like this. <laughs> um, and that's it. So, well. And, uh. Ooh, that was smart now. Okay, well. <laughs> Anyways, um, the last question is, will I ever start an OnlyFans? And I'm thinking about, like, maybe that's going to be my path in the next five to ten years. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe we'll see what, what's going on and uh, what I need to do. No, I'm just kidding. I don't think I would ever do that. Because there is, yeah, because that's, all that stuff is, 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 at right R. Um, okay. It is rated R, and I think that, I think that people who make OnlyFans and don't actually Show their wee-wees. Um, I, I think that, you heard what you yes, said. I heard, mm -hmm. I, I think they, they mm -hmm. heard what you said. Um, I think that any time people start OnlyFans and they don't do, um, X, Y, and Z, I think that's too much, because people pay for it for that reason. You know what OnlyFans is for. They're just trying to get it money, grab money, being money hungry. If I ever made an OnlyFans, it would be an OnlyFans. For what? For only my fans. For what? For only the fans that wanted to. I said for what? It wouldn't be no mukbangs on there if that's what you asking. I hope you ain't showing your wee wee. You don't know what I would be showing. But my point is, is I feel like don't make an OnlyFans then. You can watch me on YouTube. I just don't think that the, the point of making making an OnlyFans there, is They only do OnlyFans because they want to see what you got. Right. And if I were to make an OnlyFans, I would show them what I have. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, so we coming like we coming like that. I didn't say that I was this, going to do it. Is that how we making that am? No, no, no. Okay. because But I don't knock people who do do that though. But my point is, is that if I'm going to make an OnlyFans. It's going to be showing that. Yes, why well, I, I I would never make it. And oh not my it. gosh! Okay, but you're acting like Darius. Are you I'm having doing. intimate feelings with somebody? Intimate? What? No, but I'm saying if I'm if I was gonna do it, I would be truthful with my audience and let them know what was up. I'm not gonna go in there and be like, "Hey guys, just just kidding." And they paid fourteen ninety nine a month for a month. And oh, I'm they gonna pay more than fourteen ninety nine. No, no, no. I and I would never charge that much either. That's crazy. If you show your wee wee. No, if I was doing that. And what you gonna what you gonna charge? Yeah, I don't know what I would charge. I would not no fourteen nine nine. I would have to figure it. I would have to figure it out. I would have to figure it out. Um, but anyways, they will pay this forty nine ninety nine. Not forty nine ninety nine, mom. That's insane. They will pay for you to see it. Maybe oh, if I did like the first month I ever did it. But my point is, is that yeah, after that, you wait. After yeah, that, no, people would be yeah, especially when you don't show stuff. So I would never ever actually do that unless I was actually. What do people do on there for real? Not, not no, they, not, they don't show yet. anything and they they'll just be like, well, some people do. No, no, no. I, I know some people do. I said, do they really show everything? Can like like you YouTubers and stuff when they do it. Is it like a pornography? Oh yes. No, full blown. Yes. And and they actually show it. Yes, mom. They get canceled. I mean, I mean the the, the no, platform. No, my bad. Don't it, say the you... platform is for that. That is what it's for. Mm. We're not talking about Patreon. That's different. Only so is there anybody that. on OnlyFans that does normal stuff like, oh, I'm gonna Yeah, the YouTubers who, no, no, no. I feel like YouTubers though will be like, I'm starting an OnlyFans and then they don't show anything. Or they'll just be like, it'll be like a bikini. And it'll be a like lingerie. A, bikini, a lingerie. And they'll be like, okay, well. But I'm saying I would never they do don't, that. They don't, I always just hear people complaining about that. Everybody's not naked. No. But, but, mo but you go, people go on and assuming that you will be. Is what I'm saying. So I would never be on. So honest. basically, they only equate OnlyFans to be a pornography. Yes. No matter what. Yes, no matter what. So if people say, "Yeah, I do only OnlyFans," they're like, yes. "Okay, what do you we do know? On we there? know what that means. Yes, we know what that means. If you say you do OnlyFans, but not everybody does that though. Right. So then, why are you on it? Get on Patreon. Because I want to be on it. Because get on Patreon. Yeah. Whatever. So that was the end of my my Q and A. Yeah. You want me ready? You, can I ask you a question? Then? Are we done? Are we done? What? What's, what's your question? Okay, Darius. Mm-hmm. 
I've been wanting to ask you this for a long time and I didn't know how to come at you because I know Darius is moving out, y'all. And this is going to be a whole new thing, no whole new chapter. He ain't going to be at home, so he's not coming home for the summers, whatever. And I know a lot of y'all be asking in my comments and in your comments, and I be like, I want to know. What do you want to know? Is you gay? You oh. need to let people know now, because I, I want to know, everybody want to know, Am do I you gay? like boys or guys? 